Alright, uh, what we're going to do in this lesson is show you how to properly check superheat and subcooling. Okay, again, my blue hose is going to go to my big line. Okay, my red hose is going to go to my small line, to my high side. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to look at here is my blue gauge here. My PSIG pressure is 122.6, okay? That's going to correspond to 71 degrees here, okay? Okay, what I'm actually doing now is I'm going to check the temperature with my temperature probe of my suction line. And also, I've got this side going to my high side, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, uh, this is showing the corresponding temperature to my pressure. So, 129.6 will correspond to 45-ish approximately, and you can see that it's going to flutter around within a few degrees, okay? And that is no big deal, okay? Same thing on my high side. The temperature of that line, or of the refrigerant inside of a condenser, is 80.5 degrees. Okay, my indoor coil is my low side. We're at 42.6 and we're going down to about you know 40 degrees. That's common. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for my superheat is I'm gonna take an actual temperature of my suction line. I'm gonna subtract from that the evaporation temperature. So I got 66.6 .6 degree raw line temperature and my Evaporation temperature is 43.9, and this will actually do my math for me. I've got 21.7 degrees of superheat. We're just uh, subtracting our evaporation temperature from our actual suction line temperature. Okay? Now for subcooling, we move to the other side of the system. Okay? So we're going to do line temperature, okay? 74.7, okay? Our condensing temperature is 82 degrees. So we actually have to flip-flop our numbers. We're going to subtract our line temperature now, our lower number, from our condensing temperature, which is the refrigerant inside of this coil, the temperature of that refrigerant, the condensing temperature. Okay? When we subtract, we get 6 degrees of subcooling. That is how you properly check to see if the unit is charged correctly. 